Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. All right, let's see what we got for you today. Oh, uh, we got a gorgeous classic. A gorgeous, beautiful, I mean, this is a really beautiful car. It's a 143 scale Volvo 262C Bertone. Bertone is actually, guys, by the way, so the people that do not know these designers, some of these cars, they have a special designer. The one, obviously, the one that designed the car, like Bertone, they have a Pininfarina, and some brands, some models are designed by that special designer, and they're very well known worldwide. A lot of people love their models they designed, but we're looking at a gorgeous Volvo, and Volvo has a lot to do with it. These models are pulled out from other Volvos, like the 240s and the other models that came out. You know, this is a two-door version, by the way. Beautiful cube. I love it. I love how it's very big. I've seen them in person. They're quite extensive. I mean, this is actually one of the bigger Volvos I have ever seen in the market, or at least for me. They're unfortunately here in the United States, you barely see them. I saw them a few times. Um, you barely see them now because they don't, unfortunately, they haven't kept up with them. And some of them are just junk now. And that's very sad because these cars are beautiful. Obviously, they're classics. And people should take care of them, you know. So, it's sad. But at the same time, you know... Not everyone has the money or the time to invest in keeping up with a classic. So, hey, it is what it is, unfortunately. But going back to this one, I love this two-tone color. It's, it's like, um, it's beautiful. It's a very well-made choice. They, that's how the, the and most of their, these scoop Coupes, they come in a two-tone color. These wheels, very Volvo. I see them in other Volvos, and they're great looking. Beautiful looking. This car looks exactly how they look in real life. And it's just a very good... By the way, guys, this is a collection of Volvos. Um, they came out probably a few years ago. Probably a lot more than that. Uh, with all the Volvos from different eras. This is one of them from the collection. Beautiful, beautiful die cast. I love it. It looks very attractive. I like the colors, like I said before, because it looks exactly how most of them were in real life. They're black trim around. You can see the air vents right here. Everything is so exactly how it was in real life. You can even see the Bertone logo right there. That was a Ver Bertone. Bertone, Bertone, however you want to say it. Whatever you're from, you have different ways to mention it. But um, really cute car. Really, really cute car. I love it. Very attractive. Very big. <laughs> that trunk size. It reminds me of American cars. And this hood ain't no different either. It doesn't even look European. It looks more towards the American choice. But um, it's gorgeous. I like the interior. Look at that. It's a very comfortable interior, I got to say. Very luxurious. The Volvo sideways um, diagonal sign in the, in the front hood by the grill. All right, guys. So I'm going to let this car go around a few times so you can have a nice look at it. I'll be right, right back.
All right, guys, so I'm back again. You know, as I was thinking, as it was going around, and I was thinking, do you still remember these cars? Do you still remember seeing them on the roads? I, I still remember them. I still see very few of them I see on the road, but not many of them. Not many of them. Now, yeah, be, let me know what you guys think about this car. How... You know, if you remember them. And also, what do you guys think of the collections I'm showing you guys? Do you guys um, have one of these? Do you guys collect the 143 scale? Do you guys collect more? The smaller scales. I see a lot of people are more in the Hot Wheels and and uh, Green green Light and uh, Matchbox and Majorettes. And the, the other folks are more into the bigger... You know, the 118s, the 124, the 132s. Yeah, let me know what you guys are into. I'd love to hear other people's um choices and what they're into collecting, you know. Everybody has different choices, and it's fine. That's the way it is. Some, you see, I don't have the space to go with the bigger brands. And plus, I mentioned in other videos... I'm not crazy about the bigger models, not the brands, I'm sorry, the models, I mean scales. And unfortunately, with the other scales, I do not find a lot of these models that I'm posting. They have them, but not many of them. And I love 143 scales because they have so many choices. They have truly, and you want almost every brand out there, it's in diecast 143 and that's the best thing about it you know you have so many choices you some obscure brands that you may not remember or you may not even know they exist or they existed they have them but yeah let me know by what you guys think please do not forget to give me a nice thumbs up it will let me know when you're uh if you guys are enjoying the video let me know also uh, like I said before, comment, comment down, and do not forget to subscribe. And that beautiful bell next to the subscribe button, it will remind you when I'm posting more videos. Also, guys, I mentioned in other videos, if you look to the bottom right corner, there's like a red subscribe button there. You could go there, and it'll take you to my page, and you could subscribe from there also. Okay? So take care of yourselves. And I'll see you on my next video. Goodbye.